Now, as you guys will already be well aware, we have known for quite some time that there was likely going to be a wave three with new accessories and items for the wheel in Royal High. And there's also been discussion about reworked items that already exist. We know that Ready to Teddy has already said multiple times that she would like to do a system whereby the wave three is actually items submitted by the community. And we have talked a lot about it in the past, but a lot of people are starting to wonder again if maybe as the new school edges closer, we will finally be getting a wave three with the wheel, particularly because we know some juicy facts about what's going to be happening with the wheel once the new score comes out. Hello, one of our little beans. My name is B and welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you guys have missed me very much based on my comments, which are quite mean all the time. I would assume probably not. I hope you guys enjoyed Iris and my friends hosting the videos and I hope you're not too disappointed that I am back again. Naturally, I am not feeling 100% better yet. So obviously my voice sounds a little bit funny still but please do bear with me while i am working through it can i just take a moment to say thank you to all of you that supported my recent vlog we've been doing a lot of vlogs on my vlog channel which is called beatrice or you can type in b players vlogs look at the link in the description and a lot of people have been really really supportive of it and i really do appreciate it most of the vlogs have been like lgbtq plus stuff and trans related stuff so thank you so much for supporting those topics if there is a topic you'd like me to discuss on my vlog channel please let me know now as you guys know i'm also launching a new channel b react and I wanted to show you guys a quick clip of the first video that's going to be going out this weekend. If you haven't subscribed yet, you need to, but just check out this clip, you guys. I feel like I need to find out, guys. I need to, I feel like I need to use it. Let's find out. About to bungee, she does not look like she wants to do this. Did someone make you do this, sweetie? You don't have to do it if you don't want to. She does not look like she wants to do it. How do you get back up again after you, do you know when you're hanging there on the string? How do you get back up? Oh God. Oh, you crazy. Oh no. What happens if you, what happens if you swing towards the wall? She swung, did you see that she swung so far? What happens if you swing towards the wall? What then, what do they do? What happens? Do you splat like an egg against the, why, why? And so what is like. So as you can see, that is a clip from my upcoming React video that is going to be going out on the channel. And honestly, guys, I really, really, really am excited for you to see that content. So make sure you go and subscribe. But now, let's go over to today's video. As you guys will already know, Royal High has for a while now had a new school on the way. We already know that the new school is going to contain a brand new wheel because Ready the Teddy has shared screenshots and, of course, video footage in her old live streams of her actually reworking and recreating the wheel. The wheel is such a major part of Royal High that we know it's unlikely anything bad would ever happen to it and we know that we've already had confirmed in the past that a new wheel is coming. So along with the new wheel, do you think that they would release just these same two prize waves as before? Very unlikely. It's much more likely that they will release a third prize wave and in fact, Freddy the Teddy has discussed this before already. People asked her about this about a year or so ago, what she thinks would happen with regards to the wave three for the wheel and she said she would really Really enjoy doing some sort of community competition for that wheel wave three now obviously we know Royal High kind of moved away from community based submissions for things now they have their official artist program and of course the developers have gone very quiet when it comes to sharing things with the community so it's very likely the developers actually decided to go ahead creating the wave three wheel by themselves now here is a screenshot of the wheel that ready the teddy was actually working on this is some screenshots here of how the wheel looked during the protest she was working on it about a year ago and of course some of the things that we could possibly expect. Now in a wave three for the wheel naturally we would need a lot of new accessories. There are more and more people every day who are completing collecting every single item from the wheel. Naturally it does take time some of them are very rare but more and more people are managing to actually complete it. So I think it's safe to say that very soon a lot of us are going to have nothing else left to actually wish into the wheel for other than to actually get done diamonds for items we've already collected. So with that in mind, naturally a lot of people are starting to wonder when we're going to have a new wheel wave, especially because they are non-tradable. So it's even more exciting and adds an even more hyped up sort of feeling when you win something from the wheel. Now, obviously we've had a lot of conversations about new items that could come with this wheel, but naturally not many people have been making many concepts for new potential items lately, but I do actually have some screenshots here from some older concepts people made for 
reworked versions because as well as new items in a wave 3 we also have a lot of potential reworked items that have been slated to potentially be coming and the community did not disappoint when making these one of the ones that I think is my favorite from an older video so please excuse the lower quality screenshots as we have to go back to the video to get this from Spirit Angel who's now called Venus Angel it says my rework of the Star Scepter and as you guys can see these are just absolutely beautiful so this is how it looks in the inventory and the toggle to the heart so this is like the Star Scepter item which you can toggle to a heart version if you want to as you can see the particles change from stars to hearts too if you do use the toggle which looks absolutely amazing all of this is really really beautiful and I think that this is definitely something you guys would likely really enjoy adding into the game personally I've always thought that the community is really talented and while yes many of the concept designers have now moved on to working for other games or perhaps just don't make as many concepts anymore there are still many 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 talented people in the community still making amazing things and I'm always excited when I get to see the beautiful designs that they make and I'm hoping very soon we'll see some more as well as you guys can see, our mighty tallest Izzy as well, who I believe is called something else now, but I've escaped my memory. It says, a lovely tiara rework concept made by me. And as you can see, this was a design that they made for the lovely tiara, which I think is absolutely beautiful as well. The lovely tiara is certainly a bit outdated now, and I think a lot of people would really enjoy a rework for this. I think that in reality, it's a really, really, really gorgeous, exciting tiara to get when you win it inside the wheel. But it would be nice if it could be updated to be a bit more modern, a bit more relevant to the Royal High that we play now. And lastly, I wanted to share this one by Moonlit Ma, which is I made this rework concept for the Devil Horns. And as you can see, these look absolutely gorgeous. So these are the Devil Horns coming out. I really like this design, you guys. It looks a lot more modern, a lot more updated. It's a lot more better shaped, I think, for Modern Royal High. I also love the sparkles in the edit that they did. Very, very pretty. Now, when it comes to new items for the wheel, we've had a lot of people who've said that they've got various things that they think would be cool to add. For example, some people think it'd be cool to add multiple sets pieces all for one set inside of the wheel so that you can gradually win the pieces for the set over time I think that would be actually really really cool because obviously a lot of people would be able to actually showcase some really cool item set designs and of course be able to wear a beautiful set in game without having to actually buy it with diamonds now naturally we don't know exactly what is going to happen with the wheel and how they're going to do this but I do think it would be a really interesting idea and personally I'd really like it now that all means I'm curious though, what do you think would be perfect for a future wheel? Do you think that reworked accessories for the older items is a good idea? Or do you think they should focus on just making new ones or both? And what kind of items would you actually like to see in the wheel? I think, in my opinion, I would like the wheel to always be non-tradable items. So there's always something that you want to work towards about trading. Because I think trading can spoil a lot of things in the game sometimes. So personally, I would really, really like it if they were staying non-tradable for the future too. But let me know in the comments, Little Beans. I would love to know what you think about this. I'm always curious about your opinions, and I'm really excited to get to see what the developers actually do decide to do with this new wheel when it finally comes out with the new school. Now, naturally, we know the new school has been talked about a lot more recently, and a lot more tea has been coming out, so there's a very good chance that we may end up seeing something sooner than you think. I'd love to know all your opinions, though, so let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, Little Beans. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave it a like, subscribe, and click that bell and let me know in the comments down below if you're excited that I'm back. It would make my day to read some nice comments, so thank you. I love you guys lots. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day and remember, you are loved, you are beautiful, you are valid, you are wonderful and whatever you're going through right now that might be difficult, I promise you it will get easier. Remember, tomorrow is a new day. You've got this and I promise things that will improve in the future. I love you guys and have a great day and thank you so much for supporting me and all of my other channels. It really does mean a lot to me. We really are working hard on content, guys, on Be React. So we're going to have, like, three videos a week on there, and they are really funny, you guys. I don't want to just, like, toot my own horn, but my editor and I have worked so hard, and I feel like they are just genuinely really, really amusing. I think you'll love them. We have a whole new story art coming to my roleplay channel. It's Be Plays. We have a Minecraft series of LD Shadow Lady, my lovely friend Lizzie, coming out on my Minecraft channel soon, Be Plays Minecraft. There's literally so much to look forward to, and I have my vlog channel where we're talking about a lot of LGBTQ plus stuff right now, and so much more. So I'm really hyped for you to get to see it all you guys thank you so much have a great day little beans i love you and i'll see you soon goodbye oh my gosh i can't even go high to say goodbye on my voice anymore because i'm so ill i can't wait to feel better